what's going on guys welcome back to another WWE Champions video today we are going to basically get all the fusions out and enhance slash evolve some people so let's just get right on into it enhance event is going on at the moment so we're going to go ahead and take advantage of it with all the fusions up we got from opening up all those SummerSlam loots and this is going to be a nice advantage so say, but I know a lot of people are going to be put in the spot uh, that have all these fuse ups that they can mess with so her angle is now a silver 7 then will go up to a 2 star gold I wish this was a lot faster of a process. I don't know why it takes so long to like fuse up guys. And then to end the fuse ups we'll have Rick and Steamboat and uh Shawn Michaels. So that'll be cool. Those are kind of spoilers for a couple videos later this week. But I kind of wanted to get this up in time for those that were doing the enhanced event. I don't like to do that kind of stuff like later. So this will go up Monday. And then Tuesday we have a uh, 250 SummerSlam case opening. And then Wednesday we have 110 summer slam loot opening so we have some stuff worked out now for the week uh, the one the one that doesn't really matter is diesel no one cares this is a really good one one star gold all the way up to two star gold can't really complain about that i know you can really like maximize so to say <clears throat> If you had someone ready to evolve, and then you fuse them up, so I'm not worried about it. It's free enhancements I don't have to worry about, so doesn't bother me. No, you get two star gold. Take Brett up to two star. Like a lot of these guys are gonna now be. Two star gold. So. It's a lot of things we don't have to worry about. We have gotten the two star silver fuse from Dynamic 9, and now we've got the two star gold fuse from Brett out of the SummerSlam, uh, Mega Loot. Which is kind of ironic that back to back events. We get bright heart fuse ups. I mean, that 9,000 coins to take these people up to 2 star gold, and that's like a free enhancement, you really cannot complain about it. It's really good. In my opinion, that is. And I know a lot of people are going to be on this boat of enhancing, or not enhancing, but fusing people up to uh two star two star gold and i'm kind of glad that i don't have to like use my uh one star gold tokens to take these people up to two star gold because like i i hate having to like try and get those so it's nice to not have to worry about it I will say I know my plan currently is the next talent up event I'm going to take Bray Wyatt, uh, New Face of Fear, Acrobat Chris Jericho, Million Dollar Man, and Tech Orton will be going to 3 Star Silver. The debate is, do I wait 
and use my coins in the enhanced event, which I probably would do. And the town up would just be all the duplicate TP I have for those four would then become, uh, find the town up event, which is awesome. So, I think that's what I'll do. And then use coins and enhance them for the next enhanced event, which would be four three stars. Can't really complain about that. I do need some tokens for those guys, but that's fine. Unless I need like the coin, like use some of the coins for this enhance, I'm probably gonna save my coins until the next one. Which will be next weekend probably. Cause that's usually the rotation. Like, weak lines, enhance, and coin, then TP, and then talent, and then recycle those until the event's over. So I'll probably only be able to do enhance, coin, and talent up twice. And then TP, I may be able to do maybe once or twice. The, the TP one I really could care less about. I'm not a huge fan of the TP events. I kind of said I wasn't a fan of the talent up events, but look what happened. We took nine people up to three star bronze, and then Kevin Nash from. 3 star bronze all the way up to 3 star gold. Which I really don't like because I knew I had all this for the enhanced event, so that's why I did what I did for Kevin Nash. And it actually helped me out. And this feels up for kind of giving it a first milestone at least. Eh, that might be a long shot. And you have a two star fuse, and then I'm using 9,000 coins every time. And it adds up. I just find it funny that I got a Shawn Michaels fuse when I'm kind of going to be getting Shawn Michaels no matter what from the event milestones. So it's just going to get turned into three. TP. And I am happy to have Bayo Baymans, a 2 star gold. Cause the one 1 star gold token I have the most issue with is the powerhouse one. So now, if I want, once I have, you know, a lot of other people worked on, I'll be able to take Bayo Bam up to 3 star bronze. But we got some other people we need to worry about for a while. Especially if I want to get people up to 3 star, no, for, not 3 star, uh, 4 star. Which, we will have one today, with Hawk and Top Man. I know a lot of people probably wouldn't think that I would do such a thing. Cause I am really high up on Bray Wyatt, but Hawk and Top Man just, I don't know. One is different, and then two... I kind of like his, uh, new move he gets, cause it destroys purple gems, so I'll probably end up doing finisher, and then yellow yellow with Enzo, and, uh, Enzo, and Luke Carver. Because it is a move that actually destroys straight up purple gems. So, I do that, and the damage he has on in it, both his zealous and his finisher are pretty good. He just can't recycle that well, which is fine. But I'm happy to finally have, after, what, six months, a, a full three-star Shawn Michaels, finally. So yeah, the Fuse up gave us the Milestone 1, which is cool. Wow, I can almost pull up the 3 star gold. I just don't have the sunglasses. Hmm. Interesting. Alright. 
So now we are going to do ten up to three thousand not three thousand up to three star silver so that we now have all our MP trainings at five K talent. That puts them at forty five ninety one. Do I do it? I do it. So no. He is now at 5,000 talent. So all of them are now at 5k. Which is awesome. To AJ. Up to 3 star gold. I know this is kind of like a eh one for a lot of people. But for me, he's pretty much my favorite guy in WWE, so that's kind of why I'm doing it. So, there's that. We still need 7 half votes before we can even consider taking them to 4 star, but... And I'm prepared to, like, restart the game just to be safe. We are going to take Hawk and Top Man to 4 star, which will now be our first natural 4 star guy. And I am so excited about that. And there you go. Off the top man is now 4 star bronze. So. It says things at level 1. So what we'll do. We'll close down the game. Restart the game. And everything should be fine. I don't know why it does that, but it does. Can I say it treats it as if it's now a normal 3 star bronze? I don't know why. But it seems to be like what the, the game code is thinking. So yeah, there we go. So now, Hawk and Top Man is... 4 star AJ is now 3 star gold. And we could take Sean up to 3 star gold. But I kind of want to take uh, Macho Man up to 3 star silver. Because my plan is for the next talent up and enhance. We're going to do Macho Man. Well, talent up will be Wyatt, Million Dollar Man, Jericho, and Orton. And then. TP and maybe um enhance will be macho man. Like all four of them will be enhanced in the next enhanced event. But the talent up wise with all the extra TP we have will be Wyatt Orton Million Dollar Man and Jericho. So we'll go ahead, go here, collect our milestone rewards. And we are not gonna have enough to get to 12.5. Which is fine. I don't mind that. That's okay. But we're only 30,000 off from our next milestone reward in the month long event. So that would be nice. I know I can probably just go ahead and knock a lot of those out on hell mode. With, uh, with the node that has all the SummerSlam stars. So, I don't know. We'll see. But, hopefully, you all enjoyed. We did a ton of fuse ups. And then we did four, uh, actual evolves or enhancements. It was four, right? Hawk and Top Man, AJ, Sting. I don't know. It was only three. I don't know what I'm- Oh, I can't even look and see that in HBK and too, okay. But yeah, roster's really looking good. So I hope you all enjoyed this again, hit the like button, subscribe for more WWE Champions content, and as always, I'll talk to you all later.